Growing a beard is one of the most rewarding style choices a man can make, but also one of the most frustrating and difficult. Beards have been shown through studies to make men more attractive on average, and interestingly enough, depending on the length of the beard and the style of the beard, a woman will find a man attractive in different ways. But here's the problem. Beards are only marginally controllable, and many of the factors that go into growing a beard that you can be proud of is out of your hands. But there are a few factors that we have control over, and we're going to be talking about many of these factors today. And so today we're going to be talking about the main reasons why you can't grow a beard and what you can do to remedy the situation. Hey guys, Austin here with Volt Life Proof Grooming. Today we're talking about the most common factors that inhibit your beard growth as well as what you can do to overcome them. And so the three main factors why you can't grow a beard are actually kind of interesting. The first one is impatience. The second one is your diet, and the third one are just genetics. So let's dive into impatience, which you may not have thought was an issue in the first place, but definitely is. Too many people expect to grow the perfect beard right away. Maybe they expect a level of fullness in their beard that isn't realistic, or they expect the color to be different. All in all, impatience means that when you try and grow a beard in the first place, when you attempt to grow a beard, there just isn't enough beard there that you're expecting for you to really stick with it in the long term. Many, many men shave prematurely before realizing their beard's full potential. And that's simply because they falsely believe that they suffer from irreparable patches, from no fullness in certain areas of their beard, or maybe they're not satisfied with the color of their beard, something like that. The problem with this is most men give it maybe a week or two and then they decide to just shave clean off and give up altogether. And even more so than that, many men don't even try to grow a beard past their teenage years. Usually because they tried to grow a beard in their teenage years and they realized they just didn't have the ability to back then. But believe it or not, most men won't hit their peak beard growing age until about 25 to 35. So here is my beard growth tip. All in all, be patient and let your beard grow out untouched for at least a month, about 30 days. This will give your beard enough time to grow out enough to see if you can actually cover certain patchy areas, to see if you can get the fullness if you trim your beard evenly. And generally, you'll have a much better idea of whether or not you can actually grow facial hair that you will enjoy wearing after about 30 days. And you'll do so without giving up on it prematurely. Now let's talk about beard growth inhibitor number two, which is your diet. Now your diet is a very important part in your ability to grow a beard. From the amount of water you drink to the nutrients and vitamins and minerals that you consume, your diet actually plays a big role in not only the health of your beard, but the length of your beard as well. You see, certain foods actually contain nutrients that help your body develop distinct characteristics. For example, zinc has actually been shown to help testosterone levels in men, which as we know, testosterone is directly beneficial for beard growth and volume. So think of it this way, although your nutrients and your diet and everything like that isn't going to be directly responsible for whether your beard grows nice and full, there are things that you can consider in your diet that are indirectly responsible for the way your beard grows. In other words, these nutrients can still be very important factors in priming your body to grow a good beard in the first place. Even something as simple as how hydrated you are can make a difference in the health of your beard. Staying hydrated is the best way to ensure that your skin can produce healthy oils. And these healthy oils are what help keep your beard and your skin soft and strong. A dry and crunchy beard sitting on dry, hardened skin isn't exactly primed for beard growth. So if you find that that's a common issue for you, then think about something like a beard balm or beard oil that can actually replenish and hydrate your beard and skin. Otherwise, here's some helpful dietary tips that can promote beard growth. Eat your lean proteins and your whole grain. Focus on healthy fats, things like cheese, avocado, and make sure you get fruits and veggies with plenty of A, B, C, D, and E vitamins. It sounds like a lot, but each of these vitamins has their own distinct part to play in your overall health as well as the health of your ability to grow a beard and hair. Now let's talk about the third and final factor that generally inhibits people's beard growth more than anything else, and that is your genetics. Now your genetic lineage is going to be the largest defining factor in whether or not you can grow a beard. In fact, just to put that in perspective, scientists that study beard growth actually define things as either genetic or non-genetic. Believe it or not, your genetics also control the shape of your hair follicle, the hair color, the direction of your hair growth, and the thickness of your hair, whether that's on your scalp or on your face. So chances are you want to know if you have good beard growing genes. And generally, there are two main checks that you can do to see if you have the ability to grow a good beard in the first place. The first thing is to see if any of your direct ancestors in the past have grown beards, as generally this is related as a hereditary ability to do so. And the second is to determine which country of origin your ancestors are from. 
from. This will give you clues as to the consistency, the texture, and the color of your beard as well. For example, if you happen to be like me and you have Celtic ancestry, chances are your beard is gonna have a little more red in it. So although you can't directly change your genetics or anything like that, here's my beard growth tip. Look into your ancestry and see if you'd actually be happy with the beard growth you can achieve therein. Maybe you're happy with what you find and if you decide to try and grow a beard, try and grow it out but not touch it for 30 days like I mentioned first. No matter what happens, just let it grow out and see if you like the end result. If you don't, if you have minor patches here and there, you can actually use some Volt beard color to cover them. Or you can let your beard grow out a little bit longer and cover them that way. All in all, these are the three main reasons why you can't grow a beard, as well as what you can do to overcome them and become self-aware on whether you're really letting your beard have a chance to grow in the first place. So hopefully with these tips, you recognize exactly what your problem is when growing a beard and how you can either overcome it or remedy the situation. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit like and subscribe. We've got tons more videos coming out for you in following weeks, and you're not going to want to miss a lot of these content topics. So if you have a beard, if you're thinking about growing a beard, if you're just curious about beards in general, then you're going to want to follow this channel. So I've been Austin with Full Life Proof Grooming. I'll see you in the next video.